Hi, and welcome to part four of my Python Programming for Beginners tutorial series. In the last video, we went over some of the basic operators and some of the comparison operators. So today we're actually going to be using the comparison operators uh, in if statements. So these are basically uh, decision statements. Uh, so basically we're going to be checking if a condition is equal to true, then we're going to execute a block. Uh, but these are also combined with elif and else statements, uh, which we will also be going over today. So let's go ahead and let's get started here. We're actually going to do this based on user input, which we've also already seen. So let's actually take in, um, let's take in someone's, um, let's say we're going to take in someone's uh, birth year. Um, so let's do a variable called birth year, and we're going to set that to an input, and we're just going to be uh, what year were you born in? All right, and then we're going to do if birth year is equal equal to um actually let's do if the birth year is um less than 1990 or actually let's do 2000 because then we could make something pretty cool but what's this here um so let's do if the birth year is under uh 2000 we're going to do the print you lived through y2k all right so basically here what we're having is we have a variable that's getting assigned to a user input and then we have our if statement and then we have a condition now i always put the condition within brackets this is not something you need to do uh, you could do your statement like this um, i always wrap them around brackets just so i can see and I might have like multiple conditions in one if statement. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier for me to read. Um, so we have birth year is uh, less than 2000. And then we're going to print this. Now, one thing that we've noticed in the last uh, video is the input comes in by default as a string. So we're not going to be able to do this comparison um, unless we convert the birth year to an integer. So let's do that here before we run the code. And then we have a colon, which basically kind of opens up the block of code. And then we have our indentation and we have print. And then we have what we want to print out to the screen if the birth year is under 2000. Now in Python, this white space is really important. It's going to be, I believe, Kind of depends on your um, editor that you have, uh, but you're going to want to do a tab or however many spaces is equal to a tab. I believe that that's dependent on on your editor. Um, in VS Code, I believe it's it seems to be four. I'm not sure if you can edit that or not, but I usually just use the tab. In most editors, if you just hit enter, you're going to be already in the right position. This is super important uh, in Python because once you start getting into loops. Um, and other uh, statements and functions um, where you are position wise with the tabs becomes very important. All right, so let's run this code here. Uh, so it's asking us what year were we born? Let's put in 1990 here. Uh, so it says that we've lived through Y2K. And then if we put it in again here, and let's say that we were born in 2005, uh, it does not run that code. So what we would want to do is, well, what if you were born after the year 2000? We still kind of want to output something this way. The user's not just wondering what happened if something failed. So let's do a else, and then we're going to do a colon, and then we're going to do enter here, and we're going to do a print. You were born after Y2K. All right, so here we have, if the birth year is less than 2000, we're going to print you lived through a Y2K. And then we have our else statement, which again, if you notice, is at the same level as the if because the block is complete. And now we have the else statement. 
and then the print inside the else statement is once again tabbed over. So now if we run this here and we go, we were born in 2055, which hasn't happened yet. Uh, you were born after Y2K. Now if we do this again and we do 1990 again, you lived through Y2K. It does not print um, the else statement. It only prints the one statement. Now there's one last thing that we can add to this, which is going to be uh, an elif statement. So this is going to be elif, and then we have another condition here. So what we're going to put as this condition is we're going to put int birth year um, is going to be, uh, what should we put it as here? Let's do it 2021, and we can print out a little statement that they were born this year. Wow, you were born this year. All right, perfect. So now that we have our LF statement, so let's go ahead and let's see what happens here. So now if we do the year uh, 2002, we get you were born after Y2K because the birth year is over 2000, but it's not equal to 2021. So it prints out the else statement. Now, if we do 2021, we get, wow, you were born this year. And you can have as many of these elif statements as possible. Now, the order of them does matter. So if we did um, here is, if the birth year is less than 2000, um, and then let's say, let's have another elif here, and we're gonna do int birth year is less than or equal to 1900. We're gonna do print. Wow, you are really old. All right. So if if someone somehow um, fills in uh, this statement that they were born before 1990, we're gonna print out this is really old. So let's actually see if this works. Uh, so let's put in the code. Uh, let's do we were born in 1800. So it says you lived through Y2K. So why didn't it hit this? So the if statements and the elif statements are actually um, done in order. So as soon as it fits a condition and it hits that condition, it will go inside of that block and then it is done that if statement. So we would actually have to do, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna put this up here. So we're gonna change our elif to an if, and then we're gonna change our if to an elif. And now let's see if this works. So we were born in 1800. Uh, oh, and I believe we need to close this properly. All right, let's see here. Uh, 1800, wow, you are really old. And if we do 19, 1905, you live through Y2K because it is over 1900 and it's below 2000. So the if statements are definitely very, very uh, dependent on the order of them. So you always want to make sure uh, that you think about your logic before putting it in because um, that will be very important. Always make sure also when you're checking conditions with user input to always make sure that you have it casted to the proper data type. So if you're comparing numbers, always make sure to cast it to an int. Um, and these conditions are case sensitive if you're doing string uh, comparisons. And you can only have one else statement. So if you have an if statement, you can have as many elif statements as you want. And then the else statement, you can only have one, which is basically like, if it's not any of these, print out this. Uh, so that's pretty much it for if statements. 
Uh, we've covered everything that we can with them here. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to show you how we can actually nest these if statements within one another, uh, which could add some complexity to your programs. And after that, we will be looking at uh, loops, all the different types of loops in Python that we can do. I will see you on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when that video comes out.